We have been in this season for almost a month now, and so far, a lot has happened. We've had our first set of Oracle quests, we've had the Rise of Midas, and lately, we just got our hands on Korra. Now, we will obviously be getting more stuff throughout this season, but those three things I just mentioned, well, they are key to how this season will end, and of how the Greek gods will be defeated. And while in today's video, I figured out the rest of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 Myths and Mortals and how it will all end. Anyways, that's enough said and let's get straight into today's storyline video. Now, I'm pretty sure you all know at this point that Zeus wants to end all mortality, but he wants to do this again because you see, eons ago, Zeus used to be like really kind and he used to give mortals gifts and he would genuinely just have respect for mortals, but then something just changed in him, and he grew a really strong hatred against mortals, and I mean like a really strong one, and he also convinced the rest of his family to hate on the mortals as well. But Zeus's daughter Aphrodite had respect for the mortals, and ever since then, Aphrodite has tried to keep some peace between Zeus and the mortals, but genuinely, it wasn't enough. But before Zeus could do anything to the mortals, him, his family, the underworld, and his home Olympus all got captured by the Titans, and it was all put in a Pandora's box, in which the Greek gods were all locked up inside that Pandora's box for many years, and they had just been resting underneath the island for eons. Until the end of Chapter 5 Season 1, the Titan's hand that has been holding the box for eons rose up. And then it dropped the Pandora's box, in which that then let out everything that the Titans had originally captured. And by this, I mean everything to do with Zeus's Pantheon. If you want to know more about Zeus's Pantheon and the rest of Myths and Mortals lore, I recommend you go check out my recent storyline video. This video will just explain the basic storyline of this season and some other things as well. And if you want to go check it out, the link will be down in the description. But yeah, back onto this video. Zeus is ending more mortality wrath is now officially upon us. And while he's already started his killing spree on society members, and obviously his aim is to kill everyone. So, um, what do we do? Like, what do we do to stop Zeus from killing everyone and eventually killing us? Well, that is a good question, and we are not entirely sure, but I think I figured it out. So the main story quests for this season focus on an anonymous character named the Oracle. We speak to her by the scrying pool, and she gives us prophecy hints of our future and how it is, like, really bad. And obviously, she is referring to Zeus's wrath. Now, the Oracle does say that to protect ourselves and to survive Zeus's wrath, we must all unite under the leadership of a true hero. What she means by this is that every mortal should come together and be led by a hero. And then all of us go fight Zeus together. But like, who is this true hero gonna be? And well, that is a good question, and we don't know. But what we do know is that we are gonna have immortals by our side. Soon we are gonna be using the scrying pool to make contact with Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty. And well, obviously, Aphrodite is heavily against with what her father is doing. And just like us and the Oracle, she wants to help stop him too. And well, Aphrodite will be very strong because she is an immortal. So we're gonna have a immortal god fighting for us mortals. And well, I think that the oracle is going to tell us to make contact with Aphrodite and try to get her on our side. And well, Aphrodite will most definitely say yes and help us survive and fight Zeus's wrath. Okay, so now so far we have us, the oracle, and Aphrodite, who is an immortal. So who else could we possibly get on our side to help stop Zeus's wrath? Well, we can get a whole entire faction with us, and well, that is the Underground. The Underground have officially defeated the Society, and they don't need to worry about them anymore, as the Society is being dealt with by the gods. But all the Underground really wants is just peace, and obviously they can't get that right now due to the threat of Zeus's wrath. And while Hope, the leader of the Underground, is just tired. And she's also pretty stressed as well, like she doesn't know if the Underground will be needed again 
again and she's also stressed about her sister because like where is she and what is she doing well we kind of know what valeria is doing right now but that isn't relevant for today's video but going back to the underground and well in my opinion honestly i think they are needed again because they did a really good job with kicking the society's ass so they could definitely help fight again and fight against the greek gods but i'm not really sure about the state of the underground right now because we have no sign of the other members and well that is because ever since season two started they all just they all just split apart well i'm not sure about jones because it turns out that he's still working closely with hope so jones is still on the island and later on this season he will most likely come back on the island as an npc and he'll most likely be at the grand glacier because that seems to be the main retreat point for the underground right now so i think that the oracle will ask us to make contact with hope and ask her if she's up to helping us defeat the greek gods and well she's gotta be up for it because if she wants peace and all that she might as well just help defeat zeus's wrath so we need the underground and being totally honest we need everyone like we need every mortal to help us because remember we must all unite under the leadership of a true hero but again who is this true hero gonna be well i have a few suggestions but i'm gonna conclude who it is later on in the video because before we get all into that we gotta talk about midas like couldn't he help at least stop the zeus's wrath well he most definitely could but he's free now and he only really wants to escape the island and well as of now the yacht is being prepared by brutus but the whole crew is ready to just leave the island at this point and well they are gonna be leaving very soon and i mean very soon and also it's like that midas is just drifting into another storyline this season and well that is believed to be the future open world storyline and that the yacht is actually gonna be heading to the open world island but that's all just a theory we are not even 100% sure where Midas's yacht will be going and we are not even 100% sure whether he's actually gonna stick around for the rest of this season because there is a very high chance that him and the crew are gonna leave the island with the yacht next update which is in like a few weeks but it would also make sense for him to stick around and help us with the Zeus's wrath as well. Because alongside with Zeus, there is Hades, in which Hades did trap Midas for a very long time. So Midas would want some revenge. And so it would make sense for him to fight with us against the Greek gods. And maybe he could be the true hero which the Oracle describes. But again, we just really don't know because we don't know if Midas is going to leave the island anytime soon or if he's going to stick around. In which obviously he will be leaving the island at some point but we just don't know if he's gonna stick around this season and do it next season but it's really confusing when it comes to Midas and honestly we don't know but if you want my honest opinion I believe that he's gonna stick around but honestly we don't know and we just have to wait and see but yeah as of now we have us and the Oracle the whole entire looper base the underground and possibly Midas fighting for mortality so it all seems pretty finished, but someone's missing. Someone who is very strong. And yes, of course, I am talking about the Avatar. He is literally on the Fortnite island right now in his iceberg, and well, a hundred years is almost up. So soon, Ang, well, the Avatar will be breaking out of that iceberg and actually landing on the Fortnite island. And while this will happen next week in the very big Fortnite X Avatar collab. And although Aang has the mind of a 12 year old, he is the Avatar and he will be perfect for helping us defeat the Greek gods in Zeus's wrath. Because the Avatar has power of all elements, so if he uses his power on the Greek gods, then they're gonna be weakened. So honestly, I think the Avatar is perfect for helping mortality. And while this is a bit of a stretch, but maybe we can contact Aang by the Oracle. Because honestly, we need to. His power could definitely stop Zeus's wrath. So now, if we unite every single looper on the island, also including us and the Oracle, Midas, the good and innocent Greek gods, Ang and the underground under the leadership of a true hero, 
then we have a very strong chance of defeating and surviving Zeus's wrath. But you see, the question that I haven't answered here is that who is this true hero gonna be? Well, we don't know for sure, but it's either gonna be Midas, Hope, or Aphrodite. And well, it's gonna be one of these three suggestions because they are literally key to how we could end Zeus's wrath. And while we may not have a pure idea of who this hero is gonna be, but we do know what is gonna happen and that we are going to all stand together to face off Zeus and eventually trap him up again. And also we gotta remember that there are titans under the island so maybe they could help as well and it's most likely that they will. But all of the facing off to the gods, all of the battles, all of the destruction, it will soon lead into showdown and most likely a live event of Zeus's wrath. And will we win against the gods? Well, like most things, we're just gonna have to wait and see. But yeah, I just figured out the rest of Fortnite Season 2 Myths and Mortals and how it will all end. But yeah, some of the things that I said in this video are just predictions, so don't get mad if it's not 100% correct. But either way guys, thank you all for watching and more videos will be coming soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join the Discord server, link in description. And well, I hope you all have a great rest of your day or night and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.